Baroque theater was all about melodrama. Lighting, perspective, and sound effects were all melodramatic. Even the weather was thrilling, with machines to make horrifying wind. I can hear it. Proper sound effects. A driving rainstorm. Engineer. The engineer. menacing thunder. Even back then. <laughs> it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Yo, yo, my beautiful people. You know what time it is? It's your boy again. Share the one and the only. Today, guys, we are back. Today, guys, we are going to check out Seski Krumlov, Czech Republic, Bohemia's Time Warp town so we're going to check out the time warp town so that's into much guys let's go straight to action rick steve's europe i'm gonna like this okay all right i'm quite excited about this one okay so far all the videos about checking the public i'm watching have been blowing my mind blowing my mind yeah creating that hunger in me that desire that passion this one desire okay check the public let's go Moving on, we enter the region of Bohemia. Let's this go. part of the Czech Republic, closest to Germany, is much appreciated for its pastoral countryside. And floating a few hours down the Voltava River, through Bohemian forests and villages, you see why. I'm hearing Bohemia, Bohemia, Bohemia. All I'm thinking about is the UK. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the UK. <laughs> but I understand, it's, it's Czech, it's Czech. Families and gangs of friends enjoy multi-day river trips. These guys aren't letting a little rain dampen their spirits. Mm -mm. Anyone passing through can rent a canoe and enjoy a paddle, short or long. Float companies pick you up and drop you at convenient and scenic spots of your choice. This looks like fun. So much fun. Going with the flow. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this looks like so much fun. Like, I mean, even though I'm not a very great swimmer, I'm gonna make sure I have a life jacket. But this, so much fun. So, takes you to my favorite stop in the Czech countryside outside of Prague, Chesky Krumlov. Chesky Krumlov, or oh, not Seski, Chesky Krumlov. The enchanting town of Chesky Krumlov, buried in the hills of Bohemia, lassoed by its river and dominated by its castle, feels lost in a time warp. So medieval, it's classic medieval. Look it's at this. It's a delightful old town of shops and cobbled lanes, characteristic little restaurants and easy-going canoeing options, makes it a favorite with tourists. And there's no shortage of accommodations. Our home is the Castle View Apartments. Plush and thoughtfully equipped, my room is typical of the work locals are doing as even medieval lofts are being renovated to meet the needs of the growing number of visitors. Yo, this house right here it reminds me of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> I don't know why, but I have this Game of Thrones feelings or, or the Viking era feelings. It just has this thing about it, like I'm traveling back in time just by watching this. Open beams. Wow. A handy kit. Imagine having, having a honeymoon here. You get married, you have a honeymoon here. Oh my days. You are going to have twins on the first night. Growing number of visitors. Open beams. A handy kitchenette. And, as its name promises, a castle view. Make this a fine temporary home. With the natural moat provided by the Voltava River, it's no wonder this place has been a choice spot for ages. The 16th century was the town's golden age, when Chesky Krumlov was a cultural power, hosting artists, scientists, and alchemists from all over Europe. The town's many tourists set their sights on the mighty castle of the Rosenberg family. For three centuries, until about 1600, the Rosenbergs, Bohemia's top noble family, ran the city from this perch. Its 16th century Renaissance paint job is fancifully restored. Visitors wait their appointed time for a tour in the castle courtyard. Well, I know these Rosenbergs. I know these Rosenbergs. Yeah, I've heard of them, the Rosenbergs. Yeah, definitely. Visitors wait their appointed time for a tour in the castle courtyard. The interior gives a glimpse of the ultimate in Bohemian noble living through the ages. Imagine being a guest back in the 16th century of this man, Count Rosenberg. You'd enjoy the scenes frescoed here which celebrate a Rosenberg family wedding. Then, riding his assembly line of fine living, you'd dine here. Luxury. 
Come back two centuries later, and you'd dine here. Mm. And if the Count is tired of your company, you <coughs> retire to her adjacent bedroom. Wow. But only after a servant lit the candles on her mice and porcelain chandelier. And of course, the party would go on, perhaps with a Venetian-style masquerade party in the ballroom. Mad. For a little fresh air, you'd hike down this corridor, 150 yards to the Count's formal garden. But don't forget, at 8 p.m., the candles would be lit for a play in the Baroque Theater. Boom. Europe once had several hundred fine Baroque theaters like this. Using candles and oil lamps for light and pyrotechnics for special effects, eventually most of them burned down. Today, only four survive that are in beautiful shape and open to the public, like this one here at Krumlov Castle. Baroque theater was all about melodrama. Lighting, perspective, and sound effects were all melodramatic. Even the weather was thrilling, with machines to make horrifying wind. I can get it. Proper sun effects. A driving rainstorm. The the and menacing thunder. Even back then. Whoa, no way. No actual way. Yo, they had the sun effects on lockdown. This is pure ingenuity. A driving rainstorm. And menacing thunder. Wow. Even back then, it was all about special effects. Wow. Wow. This video was very well made. Oh my days. Yo, yo. When you talk about cultural richness, when you talk about uh, 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 preserve, preservation of history, talk about history well preserved. You guys, Czech Republic, you have it hands down. You have it hands down. You've nailed it. Like just watching this, this video alone, I feel like I've, I've been transported in time. I feel like I'm watching a video from like, uh, I don't know, from uh, 1920s. Oh, 1920s too early. 18 somethings. You know what I mean? Well, look at it, man. Like these are present right now as we speak. All right. These have been well preserved. In Czech Republic, yo, definitely a must visit, must visit. Guys, thank you so much for all of the requests you've been sending to me. Look, there's so much more to watch, learn and explore. Before I visit the country, I have to watch a bit about them. I have to explore, I have to do my research, try to learn a bit of the language before I go. So now we're doing the exploration bits, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Do let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But yeah, if I was not sold before, I've been sold now. I've been sold, okay? You've sold this to me and boom, soon. <laughs> it's gonna be love in Czech Republic. Peace. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way. You are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say. You are me. Oh, you are the light that shine in my way.